Okay, so now next down the line would be our vehicle. So right now we're on the Gator, and let's just say we're going to switch this into our John Deere 8300 planter tractor. So we're going to select the Gator, and let's say we're just going to put it on with our Easy Pilot, and our dealer hasn't set this up yet, and so we're going to select this, we're going to hit switch configuration. So here I'm going to go and I'm going to select a new tractor, so we're going to hit new, we're going to clear this out, and we're just going to name it 8300. And we're going to remove manual guidance, and we're going to add easy pilot. And we're going to hit OK. So now we have Easy Pilot here and 8300 on the right. So now we can select that vehicle configuration and hit Setup. And now this is where we type in our tractor measurements. So this is our antenna to axle offset, which is that measurement right there. So from the fixed axle to the antenna our antenna height, and we don't have it plugged in so it's going to bring up that message, and our wheelbase measurement. And at any time, if we ever have any question on any of the configuration menus, we can always hit the question mark up at the top of the screen, and it will explain what each of those measurements are. And there are other tractor configurations as well, such as four-wheel drives and so forth, and the measurement locations may be a little different. So also in this setting, we have different tabs. We've got different settings we can change for when it maps coverage logging. It'll map coverage manually when you push the button or when it's engaged. We can also type in our minimum speed for our easy pilot and an external switch such as a foot switch that's where we could enable that and here we have our steering so this is where we can adjust more advanced settings which I would not recommend going into here without giving me a call and then we have even more advanced settings as well Also under the vehicle configuration is always stored GPS settings for that vehicle. So under our GPS we can go to setup and this particular FMX is not unlocked to anything outside of WAS. So when I hit the drop down we won't have any other options other than SBAS which is WAS. If we had RTK, RTX, whatever it may be that would be in that drop down.